Hello students. Once upon a time, back when I had hair, people would, if they wanted pictures for school assignments particularly, they would cut them out of magazines. This is where pictures came from, or you might draw it yourself. But these days, of course, you can see on the screen, we all know where we get our images from. You just go to Google and you type it in, and there's all of these images. So you type it in, and seconds later, there you go. Every, all these pictures that you can happily use, and you're as happy as Larry. Now what some people don't realise is that even though Google is showing you these images, Google doesn't own any of these images, but somebody does. I have had students say to me, and not trying to be clever, people who really thought this, that if it's on the internet it must be okay to take it. In actual fact, I would say 99% of stuff on the internet is owned by somebody. It would be like saying if something's put on a poster it's okay to take it, and it's just not the case. All kinds of stuff is displayed publicly, but it still belongs to somebody. You know, this, this Star Wars picture here, somebody was paid to design that. Actually, that one's myfreewallpapers.net, and that one they might not have. That might have been made by some enthusiast. But most stuff is owned by somebody. And, you know, they've got the commercial right to use it, and in fact they've got the legal right. So, if you want to use somebody's image, you can, not You can, of course, just go and swipe those images, but I guess the point I'm making is, A, you shouldn't morally, and B, you actually don't have a legal right to do it. It does belong to somebody else. So, when we are using images, we can find images that we can use, and this is where this site comes in. This is called Creative Commons. Now, what these people have done is come up with a, basically a label you can put on your images saying, it's okay for people to use my stuff. You can only apply this to your own stuff. I can't look at your artwork and say, oh, I'm going to put this license on you. It's something that the creator has to choose to do. So you can share it, and you can share it on certain conditions. You can say people can use this, but they can't make money out of it. Or people can use it, and they can make money out of it. And if you look through this site, there's heaps and heaps and heaps of information there. But basically, Creative Commons is a way of saying, you don't need to come to me for permission. I'm going to give anybody who wants a permission to use it these particular ways um, without having to pay me. And that's, you know, that's different. Like, there are certainly sites on the internet where you can pay people for their images, and that's fair enough because they're their images. So there is such a thing as Creative Commons images, and movies and clip art and all kinds of things. So I'm going to give you a quick step through how you'd find some of this. You can, in fact, use Google Images Advanced Search, which is on the screen in front of you now. You can go down the bottom. It says Usage Rights. We're going to click on Labelled for Reuse, and then we're going to go up and we're going to type in what we're looking for. So we're typing in Star Wars again. Now it's only going to show us images that people who've uploaded it have said, it's OK to reuse this. Now some of this, hmm, I reckon some of it's probably a little bit dodgy, although most of it does look as though it's just been created by normal people, that's not company product. But there is a whole bunch of images that I can use, I can click through them, I can grab them, I can put them on my school assignment, I can put them on a web page I'm building, this is all hunky-dory. The next option is this site called Flickr. Now Flickr has thousands, more well, millions of photos, and it also has an advanced search. So I type in what I'm looking for, so I type in Star Wars again, then I go down to the bottom and I click on only search for Creative Commons licensed content. I could specify stuff that I could use commercially or stuff I could adapt, which might be good for those of you who are a bit artistic and want to modify images, but if you just want an image to put in your work, press on search, and now it's only going to bring back images that I can use, that are Creative Commons licensed. And there you have it, and there's heaps and heaps of them, including an R2-D2, might be a letterbox there, I'm not sure. So, if you're looking for images, do the right thing. Don't pinch other people's stuff. Find images that are people are happy for you to use. There's tens of thousands, well, probably millions of images out there now. So, that's how you can do the right thing. And that's the end of this mini lesson.